everyone, this is Rich with Fasteries. I'm like, super excited to bring you the latest Netgear. This is the Nighthawk AX8 cable modem router. This is basically the latest and greatest in terms of the cable modem. Now, if you haven't seen my review on the Orbi Wi-Fi router, I will put it up here and then also in the description below so you can take a look. That is a cheaper price point than this one. However, this one actually supports Eighth Dream Wi-Fi 6, so it has a little bit better Wi-Fi antenna. Um, you'll save money, of course, because you won't need to have a cable modem, uh, which is about $20 a month or so. And then you'll also be able to use the multi-gig wired and wireless speed. It's ready for the fastest internet speeds available. All right, so this is a Nighthawk AX8 cable modem router. So I read you some of the features. This one has built-in DOCSIS 3.1 technology, cutting edge performance, 10x speeds, that's faster than DOCSIS 3.0. It's up to 10 gigabits and it's also backwards compatible. Now you're gonna get 4x better performance. As many of you know, we started off with the 802.11g, then N, and then uh, EC, and this is now a Wi-Fi 6 um, standard. So you're gonna get 4x better performance than a simple AC cable modem router. You can actually go up to 1.2 and then 4.8 gigabits per second off of the Wi-Fi, which is huge. Now it has a new ethernet port that I haven't heard of before called the 2.5 gigabit ethernet port. That is why I bought it. If you look at my last video, you'll see that in prior videos, we were always limited because we were limited to one gigabit, which is the speed of Cat5. All right, so I will put a link in the description below if you want to order one. There's actually a couple different versions here. The um, the one that I ordered is the two gigabit max download speed. That's at $405 as of June 15th, 2021. Now there's some a couple of other flavors you can order. You can order the uh, Wi-Fi AX 4200. That looks like the typical Orbi router with kind of that space age shape. And that one is about $50 cheaper. And you can order the AC3200, which is about $320. This looks like a traditional router and it's got the little uh, four ports sticking up. So basically you can order different configurations, but this is the latest and greatest and you can order it uh, down below in my link. Um, it does get out of stock, okay? Because this is the latest and greatest. So it does get out of stock. It does use the wireless uh, 802.11ax protocol. And like I said, it does do a whopping three gigabits per three gigabits per second. Now you can also have superior Wi-Fi coverage up to 3,000 square feet. Now, if you're like me, you're gonna to want to find the center of your house and deploy it because um, I don't use a mesh system because I think they're kind of uh, silly because you gotta buy so much hardware. And by the time you're done, you're ending up with over $500 worth of hardware. So find the center of your house and then put this guy in there because coaxial cable is pretty much lossless. You can uh, extend it pretty far um, and you'll be able to have good coverage. Now this does use the Nighthawk app. And for those of you that didn't see my other video, remember to connect it to hardwire when you are connecting it. Do not use the app. It will take a lot of your time. Your phone is gonna get confused. Your phone is gonna say, hey, which Wi-Fi am I connected on, blah, blah, blah. So you definitely wanna make sure that you use the hardwire internet hardware ethernet port to set it up. Now it does support the, the Bitdefender, which basically is like the Netgear armor. The cool thing is that you do get notifications, hey, so-and-so's iPad is uh, now connected, I'm scanning it, blah, blah, blah. Um, the other good features is that the fan is fairly quiet. And like I said, one of the worst features is that the Netgear support that comes with this product, just Netgear in general, is not that great. In other words, you're going to have a hard time getting support because you're gonna have to send out an RMA and they do not provide free shipping. They actually charge you for shipping and um, expect you to pay for the shipping. And they'll charge you to overnight it back to you. So it doesn't make sense to me in this day and age um, when companies like DJI and other companies are actually doing that and providing that service um, as a courtesy to their customers. So hopefully they change that. Now I'm gonna read you the technical features here on the side. You've got the, got the DOCSIS 3.1 and that's gonna give you uh, backwards compatibility with DOCSIS 3.0. 
you've got the AX bandwidth, that's 5 GHz on a 4x4 channel, can boost up to 4.8 gigabits per second. Backwards compatible with 802.11a, b, g, n, a, c, and it has OFDMA uplink and downlink. It has a powerful 1.5 gigahertz processor, one 2.5 gig multi gigabit Ethernet LAN port, and then four gigabit Ethernet LAN ports. And uh, it supports dual gigabit Ethernet port aggregation, um, which probably means you can use two ports to um, increase the bandwidth. And it has a USB 3.0 port. That means you can actually store a hard drive onto this device and share it just like a storage device. And I think that's pretty huge because not many people, uh, people will buy a standalone hard drive and I realize they can just connect it to their cable modem and the cable modem will do work for you. So anyway, let's go ahead and unbox this. Actually it comes with a, <laughs> this might be an accident, it comes with a little flap here. Not the greatest Apple experience, but okay. I'm gonna put it on the sides here. And then it comes with a kind of funky smelling foam. Because this stuff is really expensive. And I only want to bring you the latest and greatest. Alright, so you've got kind of an unusual smelling. Uh, this is kind of a weird foam piece that wasn't on the Orbi uh, Wi Fi router, the cheaper version. Download the iHawk app and install, blah blah blah. You can see here not to do that. Do not do that. Go and hardwire into it and then go to your browser and punch in 192.168.1.1. Go punch that in there because that is going to be your fastest path to get this set up. Warranty card, contact us. All right, it's got the tape on this side. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the ports here. So you can see here that it's actually got the aggregated ports here. A special separated multi-gig 2.5. It's got an LED off on. I don't know why you want to turn it off or on. Um, and it's got a 19 volt 3.16 amp and of course the cable modem. And it stands pretty tall, uh, about the same size as the other uh, Corby router. The spaceship version, we'll call it. It does come with a Cat5e. I don't know why they don't use Cat6. Guys, this is the best technology here. We got cats. We gotta get Cat Six out because I don't know. Okay, um, this comes with a 19 volt 3.16 uh, amp adapter, power adapter, brick, with the oversized uh, plug-in cable. You want to take a picture of the MAC address because you're gonna to want to put that into your Xfinity um, application. What that's going to do for you is that's going to allow the, um, the Xfinity app to tell you that the modem is synced up. So long ago, many, many years ago, we had to actually call and speak to someone. But now they actually um, encourage us to simply download the app. And with the app, we can actually reset the stream, etc., etc. So the MAC address is right here in the UPC at the bottom. So you'll be able to take a picture of this and then upload it. So let's go ahead and get it installed. Okay, so I've got everything plugged in here. You can see the comparison between the Orbi router, which is slightly shorter, just as wide. And of course the ports are on the bottom here. These ports are all lined up. So you've got the multi gigabit 2.5 right there. You've got the button to turn on the LEDs on or off. You've got the four ethernet ports. And of course, for a USB hard drive, you put the hard drive right through there. All right, so I'm downloading the Netgear Nighthawk Wi-Fi router app. This is gonna be different from the Orbi app, of course. All right, let's go ahead and open it. Check that box, give away my rights, allow access while using the app, and create a Netgear account. So we're now in the Nighthawk app and we can go to the dashboard, and then we can basically set up the services here. Um, obviously I did that already with the uh, manual, but so you can see pretty good speeds here. The I'm going off of the port. Um, I have hit 800 before. 
so not quite there yet. 750. Enough stream, I usually hit 40, so that's about the same. 192.168.1.1. And you're going to click on that little button on the bottom. And that's going to be the fastest way to set up the Wi Fi because you're connected hardwired to the router. Okay, so on Firefox, looks like, looks like it's working here. Alright, so here we are inside the router interface, which is pretty good. Now we're going to go ahead and adjust the wireless. Okay, so now I've set the Wi-Fi password. Now updating the settings. Now I've clicked on the cable connection tab. You can see that the down you can see the status here. Frequencies. And then attached devices. And then this is for the USB storage, so you can actually set up volumes and different access. And you'd access it using Internet Explorer or slash slash ready share. Or you can actually set up a printer, so pretty nice. And of course it provides a guest network if you wanted to have a guest network for guests. So these are the uh, advanced features. For example, you can have a media server here. You can use the ready share printer or the vault. And then of course the first thing you want to do is do an update with the router. Looking for a new version because there probably is one. And then of course you've got some security options here. If you want to block certain sites, like uh, block YouTube from the kids on certain days. You can set that up and then you can basically set up a schedule um, which is right under this tab here so they can basically not watch YouTube during class time for example. Thank you so much for watching my review of the Netgear Nighthawk latest and greatest router. Please don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the future.